National Museum of the Moffa Point Marines is the single location of the largest collection of pictures, documents, and artifacts anywhere in the world that tells the story and the history of the Moffa Point Marines. The question becomes, what is a Moffa Point Marine? Moffa Point Marines are identified as those individuals, African Americans, who went to Marine Corps boot camp from 1942 to 1949 at this very location. Moffa Point Camp was established because in 1941, when President Roosevelt was seeking re-election and he sought the support of the black community, one of the things that they required of him was that he helped with fair employment. The war was going on, the defense industry was booming, and blacks couldn't get hired. He signed Executive Order 8802, which was the Fair Employment Act, which said that if you worked for the defense contracting business, you could not discriminate on the grounds of race, creed, or color. Inadvertently, <laughs> the Marine Corps was a government agency and was discriminating, so they had to take down their banner as well. And that's what opened up the door for blacks to go into the Marine Corps. Surprisingly enough, I was in the Marine Corps I had been in the Marine Corps 10 years. I was the Chief Warrant Officer too at the time. Stationed out in 29 Palms, California. We were doing what was then Black History Month. And the Moffa Point Marine Association out of San Diego was bringing an individual by the name of Sergeant Major Huff to California to speak for black history. That was when I learned that there was actually a boot camp for blacks in the Marine Corps. Everybody had heard the stories of the notorious Sergeant Major Huff. He was as big as they said he was. He was as bold as they said he was. And it was exciting uh, just being in a room with him. And then to be stationed in North Carolina and get invited out to the Huff's home, you know, where all of the history that I was now learning about, he was a part of. Then I find out that Sergeant Major Huff was a brother-in-law of Sergeant Major Johnson, who this camp is named after. Sergeant Major Johnson was unique in that Prior to becoming a Moffa Point Marine, he had already served in the Navy and with the Buffalo Soldiers. I just get excited every chance we get to, to stand these guys up. You know, my 30 years in the Marine Corps, uh, I'm smart enough to know, had they not gone through what they did, I probably would not have had the opportunity uh, to have been successful as I was. We have all the memorabilia from 1942 to 49 in this area, and we call this the 4249 Gallery. And then we have a second area uh, that we have information that addresses those individuals that came on after MOF appointers. We have some of the individuals that went on to reach the rank of general. Uh, we have what we call a wall of stars. And we have a final gallery which covers the, the modern day individuals. A visit to the museum can be even more meaningful when you consider its historic location and include a stop at the Montford Point Memorial at the nearby Lejeune Memorial Gardens. It's based on the a premise of concentric circles. It has three unique areas. One area is intended to represent the Marine Corps. The other area represents the Moffa Point Marines. And the third area represents the society. Even though they were all different entities, the change that took place, that took us from where we were then to where we are now, only took place where the circles intersect. We were lucky enough to locate and purchase a World War II M1A1 anti-aircraft gun, which was the gun that the Moffa Point Marines trained on. The gun represents the training they did here. We have a pedestal that represents the society's part in it. And then we have a statue on a pedestal. And when you see it, you'll notice that it's on a very steep incline, which represents the uphill struggle of the Moffa Point Marines just to become fighting Marines. The difference between the Moffa Point Memorial and the other memorials, all those memorials are there uh, in memory of those individuals that paid the ultimate sacrifice. However, the Moffa Point Marine Memorial is there to symbolize the success of those individuals overcoming the adversity of the training here and going on to be successful as Marines. The National Montfort Point Marines Museum is located on the grounds of Montfort Point Camp in the East Wing Building, M101 Marine Corps Base, Camp Gilbert H. Johnson in Jacksonville. 
The museum is open for visitors who have base access Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you do not have base access or you wish to schedule a visit for another time, contact Takesha Miley at 910-554-0808 or go to their website, montfortpointmarines.org.